In this video, what we're going to do is access the advanced tools in Logic, and also I'm going to show you how to set the time to start at zero when the track starts. When you first install Logic, it doesn't have these advanced tools activated, so that's what we're going to do now. All we do is we go up to the Logic Pro X in the Finder, come down, go to Preferences, hit Advanced Tools, check that box there, and enable all these checkboxes. And that's it. This enables to do a lot more functions within Logic that we'll get to maybe at a later stage. The next thing we want to do is look at our transport section of Logic. And you can see that we don't have much information in this display area. We've only got the bar, the beats, the time, uh, yeah, the tempo, time signature, etc. If I click on this little box here, we've got a whole heap of other things that we can have um, in our display. I generally just go to custom. And what that does is it opens up uh, the window to contain a lot more information. We've got now a Simpty time bar here, which shows within the project where we are in terms of hours, minutes, seconds, and frames. So this is used a lot in film and television, and you'll be using this in your projects. So you can see here now that I've got a project that starts on bar 6. So the, when I move the playhead, you'll notice that the Simpty bar t um, moves as well in terms of time. If I go to bar 6, you can see it's at 9 seconds and 15 frames. But I want that to start on 1 hour 0000. zero, 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 zero. To do this, what we do is we go to our file menu and we look at our project settings down here. And the one that we want to look at is synchronization. When we open up this window, what we can do is we can set where the SIMPTI starts. At this stage you can see at bar 1 the SIMPTI time will be at 1 hour 000, etc. But if I move this up to bar 6 where our track starts, that means that the SIMPTI has now turned to 1 hour 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So now I can get a real indication of how long my track is when I play it. So if I move across, you can see that if I go to the end of the track, I've got it at about 30 seconds and 18 frames. So this is a really handy thing that you'll be using, especially when you're wanting to know the exact time of how long your track is. And also when you're uh, syncing music to film.